Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 23 chat. It's episode four and our camera just died and we lost the file. When we were on the last like 20 seconds of the video. So now we have to do this again. And I said, if I have to, if mama has to do this again, we're going to have a little damn fun doing I'm it. I'm too tired for this. Here's Julie. Here's her outfit. Oh! Go, 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 Julie, and get ready for the show. That's her Technicolor dream coat. I'm living a nightmare right now. Now, honestly, now guess this, episode, denim. this episode was so good. I mean, like, at the end, anyway. And then, no, there were good parts all throughout. I just can't with the Frenchie HOH anymore. I need to move past it. I'm done with it. But, um, yeah, Julie was wearing her Technicolor dream coat. Why? I liked it because I like to see Julie in a lot of really fun, vibrant colors. It looked like... An oval tablecloth from the Markdown pile on Home Goods. That is a very specific yes, reference. It is. <laughs> and she just freaking tied it and uh, said, she did not tie that herself. No, okay. <laughs> and she had she had her assistant tie it for her, and then she threw on a pair of those jeans that are made from sweatpants. Remember as as seen on TV jeans. I if forget what so. they were named, but everybody had them, and they were like $50. I don't know which jeans you're talking about. That's right. Leave I didn't the notice comments the pants. You know. Was she wearing jeans again? It was a dark pant. Okay. It might have been a not-your-daughter's jeans. I don't know. But or anyway. it might have been a, a Gucci jean. Who knows? Enough about that. <laughs> because there was so much gameplay this week. There was more gameplay in the first week of this season than there was in all of... BB-22. You realize All Stars 2. that that's not saying much. <laughs> that's also the exact same thing that I said about BB Can 9. <laughs> it was also true. Yeah, There was so much gameplay. Right. But yeah, I mean, they started at a rapid pace this season. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. So last time, Lil D, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Derek X, used the veto on Kylan, saved his ass... And Frenchie said, "Uh oh, I better found, I better find me a stud, a dadgum stud bull to put up Stop there." Stop trying to make dadgum happen. <laughs> I've I've never in my entire life ever heard anybody say that seriously. I've heard it, but like I've heard it, but I feel like he's really like trying to make sitcom. it happen. Like he's trying to sell some T-shirts after this or something. Dadgum. All right, so. He nominated Travis. Yeah, and in his eyes, this was a very, very successful HOH because he said he was going to go for a meathead, and here we are. I wouldn't necessarily call Travis a meathead, but now that we've gotten to know him a bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he feels really good about it, and we're all just like... Yeah, we're all like... <laughs> we're the kid in the <laughs> meme in the back seat in the little pink shirt that's just yeah. like... You're going to Disney, <laughs> All right, yeah. So. <laughs> we have been through it this week watching yes. this HOH play out. We're going to have some fun, damn it. <laughs> Frenchie is a liar, said Travis. He promised Travis safety. Yeah. In like the first minute. He promised in the house. everyone in his move in group safety. Mm -hmm. We have the receipts. They We've showed them on it. the show. Yeah. Even. But uh, Frenchie lied about a lot of things this week. So. And he lied about pretty much everything. He lied about a lot. A lot. All right, a lot. Yeah. All right, so Christian and Xavier are... They're they reassuring Alyssa. Alyssa. Yeah. They're telling her it's going to be okay. They're all in the Kings together. They both have crushes on Alyssa. <laughs> okay. They do! That's the truth. It's the lip gloss. It's popping. All right, so uh, they'll do anything for her. Well, at least because she's on their team. So, uh, Frenchie is getting roasted. Does he even Ooh. know that he's getting roasted? Here's the thing, though. I feel like the announcer at the beginning and Julie were both pretty much roasting Frenchie, but mm -hmm. it didn't match up with what they showed on the episodes this week. Who I told Julie to do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I guess they just didn't have time to show all the insanity, especially since it was the first week. But the way that they were talking about him, which is lining up with what we saw in the feeds, I feel like all the casuals must be so confused. Like, I mean, it, it was a little bit weird, but was Why it, like, mad? Why are they being so mad? mean to Frenchie? 
Yeah. So what did Frenchie do? So everybody was replacing an F bomb with Frenchie. <laughs> was that production's not so subtle way of being like, we're done. Yeah, maybe. We've had enough. I mean, obviously it went on in the house, but did they have to show it? I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's a Thursday night. Do we need filler right now? No. We do not. Yeah. All right. So, Frenchie is the Joker of alliances. I mean, it's fitting that he is the head of the Joker's alliance. Yes. Or Joker's team. He has created more alliances than any other person, I think, in the history of... Uh, Big Brother. Not just, like, the amount of alliances, but the size of these alliances, and two, like, half-house alliances. The size, the girth, the <laughs> width, the amount. <laughs> so, okay, they tried to show the formation of the Slaughterhouse Alliance here tonight, but... You can't really show that without talking about the butchers. It also came together in such a confusing way, and he told... A lot of other people about this alliance as he was trying to put it together that didn't make the final cut. Mm -hmm. So then they must be left thinking like, so is this happening? Am I not in it? Like, did I get a call back? Like, what's, <laughs> what's the deal? So I, it was very, very messy and not well done. I feel like there was no rhyme or reason to these alliances. I think he was just trying to put asses in the seats. I think so. There was also the element of these people, some of them are my enemies. I'm going to pull them into an alliance in the hopes that if they win HOH next week, they will stay loyal to me and not come after me. Nope. I mean, these alliances, let's be real, were all about Frenchie trying to protect himself they for next week. Hand pick to protect me because I am a super genius. That's not an alliance that's built to last. No. It's not Dura Last. Okay. Well, the Butchers. <laughs> right. So let's just explain real quick. There's the Slaughterhouse Alliance, which has mm -hmm. eight people. But then there right. is the core alliance within that called the Butchers. So if you guys want to hear all about how these actually really came together, Go back and watch the spoiler videos from this week because even, it's intense. Even the ones that uh, were multiple streams because YouTube f YouTube Frenchied us. I can't with <laughs> the technical difficulties. Now I know how Julie must feel. Yeah. So anyway, the butchers we have. It's five dudes: mm -hmm. Frenchie, Kylan, Derek F, Christian, and Xavier. Correct. Okay. And so then, then they decided to tack on three more people so right. that they would have a voting majority. Whitney, Brent, not Brett, and Alyssa. I know, I keep calling him Brett. <laughs> Oops. It's very, he's very Brentable. He's Brettable. Brettable, yes. All right, so who cares about those alliances? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see them lasting very long. No, I don't either. But. Frenchie's not done. He's like, okay, so I got one half of the house. Now I need the other half. But you left out that the show actually made him... Oh, yes, yes, yes. ...gather his alliance together up in the HOH room so yeah. that they could have some uh, footage for they the show. They needed something easily digestible that they could put on the show. Yeah. Of the freaking hand motion, whatever. I'm sorry. These alliance names gross me out so much. Yeah. Butchers and Slaughterhouse. Why don't you just call yourselves the Animal Murderers? But it's not animals that are getting murdered. It's people. I know. It's so it's weird. Still gross. It's, it's gross however you look at it. How'd they allow this? I've said this before in the spoilers. I want the resistance to rise up and freaking call themselves PETA and just, like, tear the shit up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Frenchie didn't want the girls to be left out. That's not how. Why? He did not want the girls to be left out of protecting him. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you'll notice he picks out pretty much everyone that he wasn't already aligned with uh, mm -hmm. and puts them in this alliance together. He starts, he as a man, starts a girl's, a girl's alliance. alliance. Or a woman's alliance. Let's be real. It's a woman's alliance. I know. But I feel like... It's one of those things where if you are a woman, you're allowed to say girls. Like, you know what oh, I mean? okay. Okay, got it. <laughs> you know it. what I mean? Yes, I do. Um, Like, oh, I'm just hanging with the girls. Yes. You know? So, yeah, he decided, I'm going to start a girls' alliance. And they're all just like, uh -huh. So. What are we going to call it? French kisses. <laughs> or Frenchies kisses. The French I'm... kisses. Okay. Um, so... This is Frenchie, Claire, 
Hannah, Aza, Tiffany, and Brittany and Sarah Beth were not present for this gathering. Um, but there were they in it? There was talk about adding them, and they were added on later. Mm-hmm. Um, but the girls, I like how they're they very, edited this. They're very skeptical. Okay, the girls this season are the bomb.com mm-hmm. because they're players they are yes they are players they are strong they are intelligent and mm-hmm. they are game smart yes so hannah freaking well, clocked frenchie except for the pick me girls yes whitney and Alyssa. that's why they're in the slaughterhouse <sighs> but anyway uh hannah clocked frenchie mm-hmm. she knows what's up claire knows what's up tiffany knows what's up they all know what's up aza she's been pissed about it Ever yeah. since it happened. So they're just like, no. Frenchie is just trying to protect himself. This is not this is not it. No way. Alright. So that's exciting. Let's talk about something pleasant. Okay. <laughs> it's Kylan's birthday. Yay! And they made him a cake. Kylan's great. And Travis made him a strip tease. <laughs> <laughs> this was pretty funny. So Travis got all dolled up. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got some makeup from Whitney. And he had it done professionally. I mean, she's a professional. He looked makeup beautiful. Artist, right? He looked beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would have preferred if he had looked a little bit more stripperish, a <laughs> little more makeup. She did a nice day makeup. I would have liked to have seen like an evening, okay, drag queen an makeup evening look. Yeah, but uh, he did put on a ruched little number. Mm-hmm. He had his protective panties on underneath. <laughs> Probably, no hip pads. No, but he might have had a sock in his crotch. That's I okay. Mean, That's all right. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? And he gave Kylan the lap dance of his life. And I'm there for it. It was a lot of fun. I was eating it up with a spoon. <laughs> all right, so... So then it was back to the game. Ugh. Because Travis... Can't we have more strips? Tra- no. Travis <laughs> has a lot of work to do here. Because Alyssa right. has a lot of support behind her. Travis needs to come up with a strategy... For campaigning this week. Well, it takes a village, or should I say, it takes a team. A team queens. Yes, team queens. So just to remind you guys, that is, of course, Travis, Claire, Tiffany, and Kylan. So they're trying to come up with strategies to help him. Mm -hmm. And they're telling him, dude, you just got to really focus in mostly on Frenchie. Because people are at the point in the game where they're like, I got to do what the HOH wants this week. I know, right? I hate that. Cut that out. I thought this year was going to be different. Well, it still could be. It's only week one. It's only week one. Relax. All right, well, chill. I'm seeing a lot of good signs here for this season. I know, but I don't want to see any more. I'm voting with the house. I know. You better vote with the house. I know. I don't like it. But they're telling him, focus on Frenchie, because if you can get Frenchie, there's a good chance you can get all the other votes. So, here's the thing. Frenchie is super paranoid that mm-hmm. he's going to be... The big target next week. Yeah. Which, depending on who wins HOH, you never know. But he did that to himself. So, yeah. anyway, he is looking for people that are going to be targets in front of him. So, they're telling Travis... He needs some meat shields. Really push that if you stay, you're still going to be a huge target and you will be a shield in front of Frenchie. He Alyssa kept a meathead as a meat shield. Yeah, right. Alyssa is just going to fly under the radar. Lip gloss. All right, so uh, what can Alyssa offer you? He went in there with his four points of uh, light. Yeah, hello, sharks. Uh, Today I will be... (laughs) He came up on the elevator. (laughs) He walked down the hallway. I have four points to present to you. I'm looking for a safety investment. I mean, he's Mr. Business, right? Yeah, sure. Sure. So, yeah, he presents his plan to Frenchie and And Brent. 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 Yes, Brent. And, uh... They said, I'm out. Well, after he left, they were like, well, he made some really good points, but, like, we're already set on what we want to do, so. Well, I could keep him if I wanted to, Of course, French is going to say that. that. Yeah, so. Let's check in with uh, Technicolor Julie. Okay. So. It's time for the nominees to make their speeches. Julie said, face the wall and spread (laughs) them. Alyssa said, Keep me. I'm a pick-me girl. I, I haven't sold enough bikinis yet. I haven't made it worth my while yet, Like, girl, Julie. you're really going to drop your swimwear website in your eviction speech? It just uh, reminded me of Tyler talking about Angela's cookbook. Yeah. In his, or the knot and chain or whatever. You know what? 
if you want to pre-order our cookbook, the info, <laughs> uh, the info box contains the link to pre-order from Amazon. Here's the difference. This is our YouTube channel where we create the content. This is not national TV. Like, it's way different. But seriously, check it out, man. It's in the info box. If you're into it, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, yeah. um, yeah, so Alyssa's speech, whatever. Okay, moving on. Travis. Travis uh, stands up. Takes off his shirt. <laughs> Which, by the way, I love that shirt. It had flowers on it, and the middle was, like, smiley smiles. faces. That's fun. He takes his hands, pushes down the waistband of his pants to Where expose is this going? his Ken doll lines. Were the censors watching this, like, <laughs> ready to just... Yeah, kai put the kibosh Go to fish! It. Yes. We're spaghetti cat. <laughs> He uh, basically said... This was a weird speech. Check this out. Well, okay. He was also like, oh, I fell in love with like 15 people at once, blah, blah, blah. And then he makes like a dirty joke. He said he had stains on his sheets. But he said it's not what you think it is. It's shaving cream. I got cranked. I, pranked. <laughs> I can't believe Julie wasn't like, get out now. Julie said, I'm going to have to leave two Bible quotes at the end of the yeah. show. <laughs> I'm gonna make need up to, for that. I'm gonna need to make up for it. Yes. Oh my god. All right. So, so it was an interesting speech, but he was still evicted. The Kendall lines just didn't mm. put him over the edge. How about those rogue votes, though? What if he had sang, "When I think about you, I touch myself." Oh. <laughs> no. So those rogue votes. Um. So Tiffany's was mm -hmm. actually a favor. For Frenchie. He asked her to do that in the hopes that it would be pinned on Derek X because Derek X was like BFFs with Travis and Frenchie wants to make sure, again, there's going to be a bigger target in front of him next week. So Tiffany was like, all right, like you said you were going to keep me safe this week and you did, so I'm going to do this for you. Um, but if you tell anybody, we're done. Do you think Derek F did the uh, rogue vote to make up for Frenchie promising safety? To Travis and then going back on his word. That was his way of like righting the wrong. Mm, I don't know. I Derek F has been talking about doing a rogue vote for like the last few days now, mm -hmm. and most people have been telling him, No, don't do it. Um, <laughs> especially like Alyssa, who's on the block, and she was like, No, I don't feel comfortable with that. And Xavier was like, Don't do it because there's a good chance that it could get pinned on Kylan. Because right. he was also close to Travis, and they're in the cookout alliance with Kylan, right. so they don't want to, like, put him in danger, but apparently Derek F. was like, I'm going to do this anyway. Well, he shouted out, uh, Frenchie's kids, too. I was going to call him something else, and then I was like, oh, that's the one they're replacing. I shouldn't say that. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty sure Frenchie was, like, looking for someone to do that since he wasn't able, he, didn't vote. he didn't vote this week, and... Of course, Derek F. was all too happy to do it because he is crushing big time I don't get on it. Frenchie. I don't get it. I'm, I gotta say, I'm like a little bit disappointed in what we've seen from Derek F. so far. Personality-wise, love. But that fan work game -wise, at the competition. I know. Game-wise, though, not yeah. feeling it so far. All right, well, Travis comes out, Julie says... I'm keeping a safe distance from you. She evaded him. <laughs> said, now keep your distance. Yeah. It felt awkward. <laughs> I mean, obviously, everybody knows, like, with COVID still, you gotta, mm -hmm. like, keep your distance. Actually, I think I saw in LA that, like, you have to start wearing a mask again oh, indoors. Boy. Oh, my. Yeah. All right, so Julie said, uh, what went wrong? And Travis said, I guess I was just too hot for the show, Julie. Sorry. Well, he said, like, I'm the white guy with abs that gets voted out early. Which, I mean, like, that is true. There have been many seasons where the surfer dude goes first. Perhaps it was the poor gameplay as well. I mean, I think that was also a factor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't really do that much this week to try and save himself, which was sad. Said, hey, I was just going to ride on my... Uh, coattails there of Frenchie promising me safety for the week. I thought that was going to get me through, but apparently not. So I tried to blow up his game on the way out. Yeah, Julie said that he tried to do that, like, before the, the episode. And Julie said, someone told me that you were trying to do that. <laughs> I true? hope we get to see it on Sunday night's episode. 
honestly, I don't know how much of an impact, an impact it's going to yeah. have. Because everybody knows that Frenchie it was doing the most last week. Yeah. So I don't know that that's going to matter. Do you think Whitney knows? <laughs> um, I think Whitney I has think an so. idea that Frenchie is doing the most, but she's kind of like, he was in power, so I don't care. I feel like Whitney and Alyssa are the uh, entire football team from Beetlejuice. <laughs> you Coach, I don't reference think all we survived the, time. the crash. Yeah. I think so. Um, so, yeah, apparently he called out Frenchie. We'll see if it has any impact. I don't know. Um, Brent called out the Slaughterhouse Alliance in his goodbye message. He did. He did. You better hope there's no buyback. Mm. All right. So it's... I, well, I just want to speak to this, too. Yeah. I feel like the issue with Travis and why he didn't really campaign so much, I don't think he knows the game that well. Mm. I feel like he's a recruit, right? Yeah. I feel like he's probably right. a recruit. And... Also, apparently he's got, like, a really nice life outside of this. So he's so probably like, is. whatever, I'm going home. I don't I can, care. I got a fun uh, couple of weeks. I got some money in my pocket. I'm mm-hmm. going to go home and uh, do Travis things. Whatever he does. All right, well, <laughs> bye, Travis. Yeah. <laughs> or should we say bye, uh, He looks so Johnny much like Johnny Damon. Damon. It's freaky. Is he a sus son of Johnny Damon? I don't An know. unconfirmed son of I Johnny Damon? I couldn't put Damon? my finger on it for the longest time, and then today we were watching with Dad, and he yeah. was like, oh my God, he looks it's like Johnny, Johnny Damon. Yeah, it's Johnny Damon. He really does. Or young Johnny Damon. Yeah. Well, then it was time to crown a new HOH. Thank God, no more of this Frenchy HOH. Oh my God. <gasps> The competition is called Pool Sharks. Oh. And this was a very fun twist on the traditional crapshoot competition. Yes. So you've got a fake shark with its mouth gaping open. Nice. You've got numbers set up for difficult degree of difficulty. Mm-hmm. So everybody's got their little, you know, buzz-ins. Looks like little calculators. Wait, I want number one. Oh, I didn't get it. I need yeah. number you have to try so, and get the number that you think you can make the shot. The higher the number, the more difficult the shot was. And the highest number sunk from is the winner. Right. And only one person could pick a number, pick well, each number. poor Julie had to announce that they were having technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, no. It's so hot with my Technicolor dream coat on. Not right before we the competition. We need to go to commercial. Yeah, so. so they, they had to take an impromptu commercial, mm. and when they came back from commercial break, everybody was lined up. In their spots. Do you think they actually let them choose, or they were they just like, raise your hand? I don't let's, know. Let's do this during the commercial so nobody knows that we couldn't fix it. I'm not sure. I didn't even think about that. Hey, I want, all right, you raised your hand first. I yeah. bet Julie was like, now wait a second. <laughs> I, I can't. I'm sure a producer was handling that, if that's oh. how they did it. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah. It was yeah. harder than it looked. I th- Yeah, I think it was probably a lot more difficult they than it They started looked. off with the easiest one. I guess, was that Alyssa? I can't she, remember now. Yeah, I think Alyssa was spot. first, right? Yeah, so she sank it, no problem. Yeah, well, for a while, Brent was leading the competition. There weren't very, very many people who actually made the show. No, there weren't. But then, and I was just like, oh my god, please, no, please, no, please, no, no, no. because Brent is so close to Frenchie, and we can't, we, we can't, can't have back another Frenchie, we can't we have can't. another Frenchie. So, thank god, Mr. Birthday, Kylan pulled through. Ah! It was a weird, uh, club, mm. or whatever to, you almost yeah, the club like was weird. It. But... Sorry. We're almost done. This is the second time we've gone through this. But <laughs> Kylan, I'm so excited. I think he's going to make good decisions this week. I think. I just hope the whole thing doesn't get effed up by the wild card, though. I know. Um, well, we'll talk about the wild card in a second. But not only is Kylan HOH, but that means his team is safe. So Tiffany and Claire are set for the week. Woo! And... It would be so, so easy for Kylan to just put up Frenchie. Right? Big Brother Rules, you nominated me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to nominate you. And that's not even mentioning how Frenchie was trying to get Lil D to leave Kylan up on the block so that he could be the new target. They never gave a hint of that in any of the edits. No, they didn't. They, They went right for the... You use the veto on Kylan. Yeah. That's what I want. 
Yeah. They oh, left out some boy. major plot points there. But Kylan, I mean, <laughs> he should definitely think about putting up Frenchie. Definitely. And he would totally be justified if mm-hmm. he did it. But yeah, um, we'll see what happens with the nominations. But the wild card is also going to be wild. Uh, wild. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of the wild card competition, if they desire safety, they're going to have to switch teams. Damn. So what does that mean? Does that mean they're going to have to pick somebody to leave that team so that they can take their spot? I don't know. Or are they just joining? That's a good the question. Team. And is it just for that week? Or is it forever? I think ever, it's forever, ever. probably. Ah! All right. <laughs> um, but it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with that. Okay. So, woo! I'm just, I'm so excited about what's to come this week. You so excited that we made it through without the camera turning off? That's another thing, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it. No. Nope. <laughs> but we want to thank you guys all so much for watching. If you haven't been watching the live feed spoilers... What are you doing? You're missing out on so much. Like, you, they can only show so much during the episode, yeah. so. <laughs> and that is the understatement of the year. Yeah. They show very little. So you want to make sure that you've got the spoilers. Yep. Spoil it. All right. I'm tired. He's great at spoiling it. All, All right, right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, much, much love. love.